Americans deserve the very best when it comes to their governments. They, they want their governments to be responsible, they want to have control over the governments, and they want the governments to serve them so that they can have the best policies there with full accountability. My name is Arthur Laffer. I'm an economist in Nashville, Tennessee, and we have now the Alec Laffer Governor's Report, which is our second annual Governor's Report, which ranks all 50 governors in the United States from what we think of as the best down to the very worst of those governments. These rankings are extremely important. I've done this now with ALEC, which is the American Legislative Exchange Council. Great group of people. It's been in existence for years and years and years. It's a voluntary organization of legislators from all states in the United States to come together, to work together, to discuss ideas, to share their different views. This is not one monolithic view. It's bipartisan. Uh, it re encourages debate and discussion of all of these issues. Alec is an enormously valuable uh, focal point for all these types of discussions and looks at the states in terms of the sort of the cauldron of experimentation so that we can really come out with better policies in these states and there. Now, the governor's report has two primary functions. One is to tell the governors what we think are the very best policies they could be putting into place and so they can look at what they do and how they rank with respect to those policies. And if they want higher rankings from us, they can do more of the things we like and less of the things we don't like. It's really for the governors to use as information for themselves, but it's also for the voters to use. The voters deserve to know what's going on in their states so they can come up to election time. They can choose the course of governments, governments they want. People we believe deserve the governments they get. And if these people are informed as to how the governors have performed and how they uh, promise to perform, they can be held accountable. I mean, that's really important. Now, when you look at states, states are, are, are amazing organizations. There are 50 states in this wonderful country of ours. Goodness knows how many counties per states, how many municipalities per county. It is a huge, huge organization, the state governments. It's about two thirds the size of the federal government. It's very large. It's got all sorts of diversity. The state governors, state legislatures have huge power, but governors specifically have an enormous power, not only from the pulpit, but from ab absolutely from executive orders to pushing legislation through. Uh, th th it's amazing what they can do. Now, our measure of how the governors perform, we look at things like taxes, we look at things like unemployment, uh, gross state product growth, we look at unionization, we look at minimum wages, we look at what they're doing in education. We have 12 measures which we use to evaluate how governors are performing. That's the one thing we do in this governor's report. And we rank those governors from the best to the worst. Now when you look at it, the results are, are pretty interesting because the very best governors tend to be those governors that govern the least. They are not megalomaniac power grabbers. These are people who leave most of the decisions they can to the people in the state and only intercede when they have to intercede. They have low rate broad based flat taxes. There are nine of them, nine states that have no income tax at all. Uh, these states have, uh, have got all of this power, all this thing, and the good ones tend to be those that govern the least, that leave choices up to the electorate themselves rather than telling people what they have to do. The worst governors, on the other hand, are those that mandate the most, that have the highest tax rates, the most progressive tax rates, the most unionization, that have the highest minimum wages, you know, where government's telling everyone just how to do it and there. You know, when you look at people, people have a choice in where they live. And by having the choice in where they live, people can change their governments by, mo by voting with their feet. And they can change their governments by actually voting in the elections to select the governors that they want. This is a tool for all of you to be able to evaluate those governors. And if you just look at it, it's called rankmygovernor.org. I'm Arthur Laffer and thank you very much. And I really hope you enjoy our rankings of the governors. It should be a very powerful tool to get good government for America. Thank you.